Aquarius, welcome into your August monthly energy check-in. I've already meditated on your oracle cards, called in spirit. Now, the goddess card you pulled was Perpetua, the saint of authenticity. And the quote is, I am my authentic self in all circumstances. Now, Perpetua refused to renounce her faith and died in an arena at the hands of the Romans many years ago. But she didn't care. She kept holding on to who she was. She had the strength of soul. She could feel, she could feel her higher self at all times. No fear of death, no fear whatsoever. She was who she was and she did it with strength and passion and authentic divine allegiance. Okay, so there's something here about journaling, about writing a journal or a dream journal here. I'm going to read the last paragraph in this book just so you can... Uh, get the vibe of, of what she's all about. Okay, when we find the courage to be true to who we are, a vitality returns to us, a voice that's both moving and compelling simply because it's authentic. Saint Perpetual's words in her very personal and emotional diary were so impactful that 200 years later, the renowned church father Augustine would write about their beauty and truth. Saint Perpetua suggests that there is no greater power than choosing to remain our authentic self in all circumstances. She's that person who remained loyal to her soul and she urges us through her example to embrace the power of being authentic now. Even in the face of death, she courageously held fast to her truth that she was a Christian. Her right hand re reveals the Christ mudra. She also reminds us that journal writing can be sa a sacred act of returning to ourselves, of listening to the soul voice inside us, and of going inward to find our answers. Perpetua is a call to a journal writing practice, even if it's just to record our dreams each morning. The inner voice that greets us as we write strengthens our authenticity. That voice becomes a light, a fire that calls to us and claims us as we dare to live out its truth. What is the truest statement I can say about who I am? What is the truest statement, Aquarius? that you can say about who you are, okay? Now, the first thing that came into my mind when I read that was, I am love. So let me know in the comments what comes into your mind when you, uh, when you ask yourself that question, okay? We've got fellow travelers, support is all around you. And blue moon, believe in the impossible. Lovely, powerful energy for your August here. I feel like you're really... Uh, you're thinking outside the box, Aquarius, which is what you're so you're so good at. There is no box for you, okay? And I feel like your connection to yourself is getting stronger. I truly am a true believer and teacher that the higher self is who we truly are and that our job really or our spiritual purpose is to connect with that higher self as authentic and unique as we all are. When we all connect to our higher self, we start creating heaven on earth because we've got to remember all life happens in the mind. It's all consciousness, right? So anything we can imagine, we can create, okay? Let's see what tarot cards we've got for you. Support is all around you. That's really calling out to me. You might feel uh, the need for a little cuddle or a little bit of comfort in August, okay? We've got the King of Wands, the Fire King in this deck. Beautiful, regal, confident, courageous. I feel like this is representing you, but we'll see. We'll see. I feel like you're, you're finding this energy in yourself. Okay, 10 of wands here. So you may be feeling like you've got a lot to do, a lot of responsibility, but you've got the energy to handle it, okay? You've got the leadership. Sometimes we've just got to lead, right? We've just got to do things, get on with it, not let ourselves get worried about anything, but literally be in the now moment and do the best we can. We've got the high priestess also coming out for you. So your intuition through these energies here, energies that may feel like hard work, uh, you're... you're you're really heightening your intuition here. Now, the Ten of Wands gets a bad rap, a bad rep, whatever they say. It gets this reputation of being an awkward card, but what it represents is Ten Wands of spiritual power, that fire that we find in the suit of wands, okay? It represents spiritual power, which is invisible, but very much real. And I feel like you're mastering some pathway, something within you, something that others might see as a burden, but you've taken it on because you wanna to get to a higher level. You want to really um, establish yourself in some kind of way. And I feel like what you're doing is taking a lot of courage. They're telling me authenticity again. It's taking you a lot of courage to, to step 
into who you truly are and I don't feel like it's always been easy with the seven of cups showing up here I feel like you've had to get through you know confusion illusions these are even in your own mind you've had to sort of battle with yourself or you know the lower self versus the higher self not knowing who you truly are or why you're truly here having to submit to the universe with the hanged man showing up as the central energy I feel like you're still shedding some energies in August, but I feel like you are really coming out on top and really following a signal from your higher self that's going to allow you to burst forth out from a from a much more powerful positioning, okay? But there's just a little bit of energy here that you've got to work through. And the advice is to do the best you can with any burdens or work that you've chosen to do, okay? Because the Ten of Wands is about you choosing something that you feel like is worth the journey. But know that the confusion, all these options, not knowing which one to pick, it will be made clear. Okay, the Ten of Swords represents a situation that is 3D in vibration. So it's bound to end at the Ten of Swords. Certain paths, they, they're designed to be dead ends. So we learn to raise ourselves up, climb up out of the hole rather than keep trying to find an exit door in the 3D. There is no exit door in the 3D. That's why 3D is the karma, right? The only way we exit is by rising up. We have to crack a hole open in the ceiling and pull ourselves out of there. And I feel like that's what you're doing in August. I feel like you're, you're, you're doing good. You're doing good because you know when to submit to the divine and you know who you are or you'll be getting a real solid sense of who you are in August, something that can't be taken from you, can't be manipulated out of you. No one can talk you out of this because this is a divine connection and uh, it's who you truly are, Aquarius. We've got the Queen of Swords here. Again, with this Ten of Swords, it's, it's almost like you're getting rid of, you know, the 3D debris. You're getting rid of the illusions. You're, you're parting ways with people who cause you confusion, who cause you to have to constantly call on the divine for help, okay? Because they're not there. Look at this cat. This cat's like, right, this is just me. This is just me on my own, okay? And I've got to toughen up. I've got to learn to be this uh, fiery spiritual power. The high priestess and the king of wands. Fire may mean quite a lot to you, Aquarius. There may be something here in your lineage, in your Akash, that has to do with that spiritual power. A baton that you're carrying forward for your ancestors. There's something here you're carrying forward for your ancestors. And um, to do that, you often have to go through these storylines that feel like they're really, you know, full of betrayal, full of sacrifice, full of confusion. But it's all to help you see clearer further on down the road. You know, this... this this queen of swords, she's up in a tree. She's seeing things from an elevated perspective. And once she can see the horizon, once she can see the lay of the land, that's when the movement comes, okay? Eight of wands, more fire energy. That's when the spiritual movement comes, when you can see clearly. I'm hearing third eye. When you can, you've really got the lay of the land, then the movement will come. Show me more. Show me more for Aquarius. More fire here. We've got the Knight of Wands showing up, okay? This is a particularly curious, but I'm hearing sneaky fire, Tom. This is what it's, it's called in the, in the cat deck. This is the Knight of Wands here. I feel like you're gonna be definitely seeing something clearly when it comes to someone behaving in a way that you, ha you don't necessarily like. We've got two tens here, completion, right? The Ten of Wands is what we get when, you know, too much spiritual power maybe not enough love the ten of swords is when there's too much thinking action someone trying to be manipulative again lower 3d energies but i feel like you're going to be moving away from this pretty quickly and i feel like you're going to take that energy okay any energy that people have tried to use against you it's almost like i just got a flash of that energy being given to you you know it takes a lot of courage to be sneaky some people you know they've got a lot of nerve and i'm hearing that the nerve their their balls their nerve their whatever that's going to be handed to you okay through exchange in the magnetic field so they're not going to win you're going to see something clearly here this could be something in your past that you're still trying to mull over and trying to get your bearings on and trying to think well what was this all about know that clarity will come and any energy that was used against you it's actually going to be gifted to you in the form of like imagine a potion bottle put into your invisible apothecary of the soul 
this energy, this big bottle of fire is going to be donated to you because they couldn't get one over on you. They couldn't trick you. And therefore, you get their power. You, you get their energy. Okay, we've got the Ancestor of Tribes. Nice energy. Which others do we need? Okay. I vow to help my friends and family shine bright like the stars. Okay, I feel like this should go here next to the fellow travellers. Definitely a strong family energy here. I feel like for some of you, you could have had people messing with your tribe, okay? Burdening your tribe. Giving you, you know, no choice but to cut them off. This is a lot to do with, you know, people in your energy leading you to dead ends or trying, leading themselves to dead ends, right? These energies will be regulated and balanced out, but it's it's to do with you seeing clearly, you taking the authority, you submitting to the divine, you being authentic to what you represent. And then these energies are just going to sort of dissolve. They're going to lose their potency. They're going to lose any power they thought they had through lower vibrational manipulation or sneakery. It's not going to get them very far. Let's just say that. Hmm, interesting pathway card here. It's funny. It's like something looks like it's very difficult. Because you're too, you're too zoomed in on it. Does that make sense? If someone was stood right here, they would think this was, oh, I've got to get over that hill. But if they were stood a little bit further back, they'd be like, oh, I'll just go around it, you know? I feel like you're going to see something clearly, like I keep saying. You're going to see a clearer route, a clearer route, a clearer pathway. Something that was confusing you is going to be made very, very obvious, okay? Let's clarify. What does Aquarius need to know for August? Show me. Show me the High Priestess, please, Spirit. Show me the High Priestess, please. Wow. Nine of Cups. Nice. See, this is also a reminder that when we focus on our wishes... And we focus on our dreams, that energy. See, I was just saying about this person being balanced out. It doesn't surprise me that the justice has turned up because I already felt like the justice was on the table, okay? When you stick to your guns, when you hold your frequency of divinity and devotion, not only do your wishes come true because they must, because the universe is designed like that, not only do you more powerfully manifest what you want into your life, everyone else gets their karma too. The ones who are trying to be sneaky, the ones who were trying to betray you, the ones who thought they were cleverer than God, the ones who thought they were more powerful than all the non-physicals put together, well, they get what the universe get, gives them. They get divine justice. They cannot escape from this because their mind and their conscious reality, their being, who they are, is also part of the universe. So the universe measures every little movement, every little intention, every action, and it dishes it up accordingly because we all create our own realities. We're all a portion of the universe. Each consciousness is a whole entire world. And this person, whoever you've been dealing with that's made you feel betrayed or betrayed your family, something here to do with sneakery and betrayal, they may have ran off or they may be avoiding consequence but they can't avoid the universe okay they just can't do it yeah definite clarity coming in definite truth you've held your ground in a very powerful way nine of cups wish fulfillment what else do we have for Aquarius show me judgment yeah you've been following the call of the divine we've got the empress on the bottom of the deck lots of empress energy coming up in these readings lately i feel like people are really finding their true power really realizing that they can create their own reality and um, this judgment card here just extra confirmation with justice and judgment this is like the universe really being like darling please understand we've seen all these things happening to you we watch everything we see everything we feel everything fear not fear nothing okay now this believe in the impossible card i feel like there's a wish or a dream that maybe you've been distracted from lately because of of you know outside distractions people being annoying whatever but i feel like you need to try your best despite these distractions to pull your mind back in a strong and powerful way onto this wish fulfillment onto something you're creating that is a dream that sometimes you might doubt yourself and think well, this feels a little bit impossible. This feels like something, maybe I'm being unrealistic. But I want you to know that there's no being unrealistic, okay? Other people, just because their mind isn't as broad or, you know, they're not as open-minded or as imaginative, well, that's, that's them. 
you can imagine, you can create whatever you imagine. And this thing that you're imagining in, all it needs is your belief. All it needs is your knowing that you're a divine creator and you can create whatever you want. So yeah, hold on to this idea of yours, okay? Because you can take it far with the chariot energy. The chariot represents something we decided on as a superior way of living, a superior way of creating our reality that will take us onto our highest timeline, that will bring magic and victory into our lives. But you've got to provide the fuel. You've got to know. You've got to know in this power. You've got to believe in yourself, okay? One more. Alice in a sea of tears, cast away, out of your depth, feeling abandoned, okay? I feel like any time we do feel abandoned or any time we do feel like, you know, we're alone or there was someone we wanted to rely on but we couldn't, I feel like it always heightens our connection to the divine in a way that is just such a blessing that we can't ignore it. And it ends up being like, well, you know, what if that thing hadn't have happened, if I hadn't have had to go into hermit mode or go into the hanged man mode, completely submit myself to the universe's will, then I wouldn't know what I'd know. I wouldn't have found this authority, this personal authority and that beautiful intuitive connection with the non-physical, okay? But be aware that sometimes, you know, and I do it, you know, sometimes there is a lot of support around us but we just don't really want what's there. You know, if we've lost someone that meant the world to us, we don't always want other people around us because it feels like nothing compares to that person, you know? Interesting, interesting. Let me pull one more of these. Cancer energy may be really significant for you. You may have cancer in your chart, there we go. Pure confirmation. Find solutions in the unknown places in the darkness, okay? So I don't get the feeling like you're truly, truly alone. You know what I mean? Like there's people around you that you, you know, they do provide you some cushioning psychologically. But I feel like this sense of aloneness that you're going through is to heighten your gifts. It is to get you on the right path of your wish fulfillment. It is a form of balance. So you can get to know yourself better and be on this correct divine pathway to see clearly, to see over these hills and, you know, to see other ways, to see other solutions, to see other pathways. I'm going to ask about this uh, ancestor of tribes. Okay, I'll use these. Show me for Aquarius, please, Spirit. The ancestor of, of tribes. What does Aquarius need to know? I'm hearing stick to your guns, okay? Stick to who you know yourself to be. Stick to what you know is right, okay? Stick to being on the divine side of life, okay? We've got home base here coming up with ancestor of tribes. So either you're going to be getting a lot of comfort, there's going to be a lot of focus on where you live or where you want to live or where you get your comfort, but home and family, very important at this moment in time, okay? Sometimes when we feel like crap ourselves, the best thing we can do is to help someone else. And you know what? When we help someone else, we help ourselves at the same time. It's so bizarre. Like Spirit was saying to me, you have to get your channel, channel started. And helping to heal others will simultaneously heal you. So me helping to heal, heal other people is a tandem event with, with my healing becoming complete. And I really feel like the universe loves it when, when we realise that sometimes turning the focus off of what we need from others and onto what they need from us is the best healing tool ever. Okay, we've got higher world, doesn't surprise me. Connecting, okay, dimensionally. And, you know, you could identify as a starseed, as a light worker, as a wanderer, as someone who's got the sense that they've lived in other times other places other realms of reality here so trust that any time spent alone is valuable okay there are lots of answers waiting for you and enjoy the home comforts okay we've got humor humor not surprising here i feel like you're going to have more good times in august than you may expect all right and um definitely you know focus on that coziness of home of family of tribe see the see the light aside okay <laughs> try and see the light aside in, in anything you're going through right now show me more 
show me more. Faith and love equal blessings. Okay. They're telling me this is all about you refocusing on what truly matters. Refocusing on your wish for fear. Fulfill. My voice. See, this is part of my PTSD. You'll hear me, you know, stuttering my words. Especially when you're psychic. It happens even more. It's like your mind switching channels of consciousness. Right. This is about you focusing wholeheartedly on wish fulfillment. On this type of security, family you want to be part of. That you want to create how you can bring beautiful energy in your magnetic field to the people you already live with or already love or people you already consider to be family. They're telling me to tell you they're always going to be there, okay? We're never alone. We've got so much non-physical support that even when we feel alone, that's an illusion, okay? That's an illusion that the lower animal in us feels abandoned and alone. But honestly, it's so good to have time spent in your own company, first house you 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 okay i don't know if you've got planets in your first house but spirit wants you to pull the focus back on yourself especially if people have disappointed you or let you down somehow the focus has all got to be on you numero uno okay seeing the funny side in in whatever you can helps to literally transmute the energy it's a key it's a key to a higher world Focusing, refocusing on what you appreciate, on all the lessons you've learned, on your divine connection, refocusing on how intuitive you've been throughout a situation that you found a bit of a betrayal. Because we've got the High Priestess and the Ten of Swords and the Knight of Wands here. It's like you could see straight through someone, but you didn't want to think that you could. I've had that happen to me. Some people are so obvious in their deception that it insults my ancestors, it insults my gifts. And you kind of want to gaslight yourself and think you're wrong and go back to this modern day narrative. Oh, maybe I'm paranoid. Oh, uh, no. We've got to have faith in our high priestess skills now. You know? Give it up to the divine. And give it up to the divine part of us. What does the divine part of you want? The divine part of you is so eager, so eager to help you create an amazing, fantabulous, amaze balls of a life. Your higher self really has got the power to help you create all this. We've just got to get ourselves in a position where we believe and we know that. We know we are our higher self. Important. Okay, we've got eighth house coming out here with water. There may be something that you are cleansing. Okay, something to do with sex or death or money. Transformation, the eighth house. Okay, it's that house of the taboo. It's that house of Scorpio energy transformation sometimes the things that hurt us the most transform us into the strongest most powerful authoritative version of ourselves that version of ourselves that can hold the frequency of our higher self then we do get to the higher world sometimes we've got to feel a little bit of pain to do that and find our comforts where we can okay we've got ingredients on the bottom of the deck seventh house okay so think about what you put into a relationship. Think about what they give you. Everything that someone does is an offering. The way they talk to us, the way we talk to them. These are all energetic offerings, okay? Make no excuses for anybody, even if they're drunk or even if they had trauma in their childhood. Their offering is still their offering. It's still what they're, they're putting on a plate for you. If someone invited you to their house for dinner, and then you realise the fridge was empty and there's dirty plates all over their dining table. That's an insult, okay? That's an insult. So we have to accept people's free will and we have to accept that what they show us and what they offer us is their offering. We can't, we can't gaslight ourselves anymore. We're thinking, oh, but maybe they just need healing or oh, but maybe this or oh, but maybe that. That's justifying their foul treatment of us. And we're not going to do that anymore, Aquarius, okay? refocusing on that divine connection wish fulfillment here you've got a lot of powerful energy coming in thank you for being here why not hit that like button comment subscribe and remember to stay in your authentic higher self love you loads aquarius big hug Mwah.